Well, let's face it. One of the big things that you're doing is now is cooking more at home, more than you've done in the past. So it means pulling out those old tried and true standby recipes. And in some cases, it might mean hey, trying something new. But listen to this. Food Network star chefs are here to help. They have a new hashtag we cook initiative. And joining us from his kitchen is Jeff Morrow, one of the co-hosts of the Food Network show, The Kitchen. Thanks for talking with us. Sorry, my soup is so hot. How are you doing, Tati? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I could use a bowl of soup like that right now, but let's get How right How about into it? Nothing, nothing says, you know, the end of spring, like uh, three inches of snow, at least in Chicago, we got a nice blanket of snow on the ground. So that's why I'm making you guys roasted tomato soup today. So something to mm, warm the soul awesome. during these deep spring months. Unbelievable. I know. Yeah, I tell, tell me you. about it. Yeah, we're going to get about we're gonna get three <laughs> inches here in Detroit as well. But first, let's talk about the We Cook initiative and what mm -hmm. you and your fellow uh, Food Network stars are doing to bring this all together. It's you, Alex Guarnaschelli, Katie Lee, Jeffrey Zakarian, mm -hmm. and Sonny Anderson, who make up the, the hosts of The Kitchen. What are you guys doing for the show? I mean, even when you say it out loud, the powerhouse of those names together on one show, I mean, how, how would you not watch? Just saying it out loud, it's unbelievable. But that's what we're doing. I mean, everybody has a different, uh, you know, style of cooking. So if you follow the, you know, hash, hashtag we cook, it, uh, you're going to get a lot of great recipes for those kind of, I mean, we're getting in the, the depths of this quarantine and people need new ideas and inspiration in the kitchen. Because listen, we're cooking most of us, three meals a day, seven days a week. That's 21 meals if you do your if you do the American style math that I'm used to. And plus desserts and all that. I mean, it gets overwhelming. So the 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 fact that we're putting it out there is that we cook with you guys on a daily basis. And you can follow our Instagrams, watch the programs, watch the, you know, the kitchen on Saturdays, and just learn along with us because we're all learning as we go too. I mean, this is unprecedented. So I'm learning every day. It's unbelievable. So, you know, we're all in yeah, this so, together. So we, we are all in it together. So we can follow the hashtag, we cook, get recipes from mm -hmm. you guys, each and every one of you, switch it up in our own personal kitchen, kitchens and keep it interesting. But now, what are you guys doing yeah. for the show while we're all under quarantine? Well, luckily, I have a very uh, uh, understanding and wonderful wife who has now become like my producer, my culinary producer, my executive producer, my camera operator, <laughs> and uh, my grip. <laughs> While my 11 year old son, you know, it, uh, is, is becoming part of the, my co-host. So we are all shooting on our telephones remotely. I love it. You know, they sent us some lights now and everything. We're bumping it up. So these episodes you're seeing are just shot by our families in our own homes. Very natural, very raw, but still cooking for you guys and sharing our experience along with you. I mean, because again, there's no, I don't have a culinary team like, there's not 80 people working on this set right now. It's me and that's it. I set this up. My son's complaining yeah. that he only, you know, it's his hour of school today was just too uh, taxing for him. So that's, you know, wow. so we're all in it together. You know, the dogs are going to bark in a second yeah. and the delivery is going to come. Yeah. All right. Well, we, we can't have a Food Network chef with us and not ask for a recipe. So what, what are you cooking there? Tell us again about that soup. Well, this is one of my son's favorites. So this is just a tomato soup. Who doesn't love tomato soup with, of course, a grilled cheese that I'm gonna cut into little croutons and plate it nice. on, give it another spin, breathe new life into something you've done your, and ate your whole life. And what wonderful way to do that is to make this beautiful bowl of soup and then just take those little cubes of, look at that. These are mini little grilled cheesies Hello. and you put them right on, come on, I, I, I dare you Tati to not eat all these before they even go in the soup. But it kind of soaks I up all that I was just thinking that. Right? I mean, you're going to do it, it anyway. Make it you might as well do it. It's great. And this soup is so easy. I just took some tomatoes that were kind of getting a little long in the tooth up on my counter, some canned tomatoes, whole tomatoes, and roasted them with carrots, peppers, shallots, onions, whatever you got. And then you just blend it all together, add a little cream in there if you want to give it a little blushness, a little sweetness, a little creaminess. Mm -hmm. And listen, I don't – bread is – Bread is, I got some bread in the freezer, but if your bread's getting a little, like let's say you did hamburgers two days ago and you got leftover hamburger buns, turn it into a grilled cheese, invert it. Absolutely. All right. That way all that Do butter will different. soak I mean, into there. It's just yeah, spin what you already have. Don't, bit, you know. 
Right, right. And I think that people may be a little overwhelmed in the kitchen right now. What advice mm -hmm. would you have for those people? Listen, if, if there's something that's inside you, like you need a sourdough starter and you need to really dive into the deep end of baking bread, do it now. But don't feel mm. compelled to do it if you're not feeling it, you know, because that's overwhelming for some. But just take it. This is what I would say. Reduce the stress by doubling or tripling. If you can, if you, if you have the ingredients, you have stuff in the fridge, double everything. That way you're cooking, you know, you're, you're making enough for tonight, leftovers, and then freeze the rest for something. So, you know, you can take a night off and not worry about, oh, my God, what are we going to cook tonight, you know? And cook what you That's know. And if you don't know, you know, luckily we got the internet and we got We Cook and you got our shows to inspire you. So there's so much, like we're all in it, you know, we're, we're literally only talking about two things right now. And that is the state of the world and what we're going to eat. So might as well 100 percent what we're going to eat because the other discussion is, is leading nowhere these days. Yeah, it's a lot. Jeff, thank you so much for being with us for Live in the D. We had a great time talking with Jeff last week. If you want to see him and his co-host, you can watch him on The Kitchen. The show airs Saturday mornings at 11. Also, you can get all their at-home cooking advice by following Food Network on social media.